when will the narcissist return to you? When will they come back? Narcissists want convenience. They targeted you because they thought it was convenient for them. But when it got difficult for them to get their way, that is when they decided to leave. A narcissist is only going to stick around for as long as it is convenient for them. For as long as they can get what they want. Although no matter how convenient the situation may be, they're never really satisfied. Nothing is ever enough for them. They always want more because they feel like they are not enough. So sometimes it will just discard you, thinking that they found a better deal. Thinking that the grass is greener on the other side. Or maybe you questioned and confronted them on their behaviour and that made them decide to leave. As soon as it gets difficult, the narcissist is going to leave. They're not going to stick around unless there's something in it for them. Unless they can proceed without difficulty. Unless they can experience comfort, ease, enjoyment and satisfaction. Unless they're with someone who is useful, easy and suitable for them. Someone who contributes to their easy and effortless way of life. Someone who takes away the anxiety and stress that they would otherwise feel. They will have you running on an endless hamster wheel trying to please them. Trying to fulfill their needs. You don't even have the time or energy to realise that they're not even doing anything for you. They're not bringing anything to the table. Because their arrogance and entitlement makes you think that this is just how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be doing all of the work. You're supposed to be trying to make them happy and solving all of their problems rather than it being the other way around or rather than it being fair and equal. They will make you feel like you owe them a living as though you should see it as a privilege that they're even around you even though they're not doing anything for you. You may even find that your life is so much easier without them, yet they will want you to think that you can't live without them. They want you to think that you would make all of the wrong decisions and just ruin your life. Because keeping you thinking like this is how they keep you under their control. It's how they get to make all of the decisions for you. It makes you afraid to leave. But when you finally wake up, that is when they will leave you. Because they don't want to be around someone who is no longer susceptible to their manipulation. Someone who no longer believes their lies. They need a fool. They need a doormat. They need someone to be their emotional tampon. 
they need someone who is going to do whatever they want without asking any questions. They need someone who they who they are able to control. And if you're not going to be that person, they will just find someone else. They don't care about how many years of your life you invested into them. They don't care about how much money you spent. None of that means anything to the narcissist. All they care about is what they want in that moment. It doesn't matter what you've done for them up until that point. The narcissist can never be satisfied. They're like bottomless buckets that can never be filled. Nothing you do will ever be enough. Even after all of the time, energy and money that you invested into them. One day they will still turn around and say that you did nothing for them. They lack gratitude and appreciation. Because they feel entitled to you. They expect it from you. And they always want more. Which is why unless you were willing to run yourself into the ground, it was inevitable that the narcissist was going to leave. They had to seek out someone to be their fool. Someone to be their doormat. Someone who would do whatever they want. But they never cared about you. You never meant anything to them. It was all about what you could do for them. It was about convenience. Whatever would make their lives easier. And that is why as soon as you took away those conveniences, you saw a completely different person. You saw someone who was very angry. Someone who was very bitter and resentful. Because that's all they wanted from you. That was the reason why they targeted you. It was never about trying to help or support you. It was never about sharing anything with you. Although that is what they tried to make you believe. They tried to make you believe that being involved with you was a selfless act. As though you needed them more than they needed you. When really your life was so much easier without them. And you've just made their life a lot more convenient. But they will never tell you this. They used future faking and delusions to try to make you think they had something to share with you. And they tried to make you believe that one day everything would be so different. And it would finally be reciprocal. But that never happened. Instead when you finally started to figure things out. They just left you for their new source of supply. Someone who doesn't know what they're going to do to them. Because it's more convenient for them. But when their new supply finally wakes up. That is when it's going to get difficult difficult again and the narcissist will have no choice but to discard their new supply. When this happens there is a possibility that they might return to you or they might target another source of supply. The deciding factor in whether or not they return to you is if you are still susceptible to their manipulation. If you still believe in their lies. If you're still willing to be their fool. Their doormat. Their emotional tampon. If you're still willing to do whatever they want. Without questioning or confronting them. 
and the narcissist will be able to sense it. The predators. They know who is going to fall prey to them. They know when someone's still under their spell. And if they think you're still the same as you were back then, there's a possibility that, that they might try to return to you. Because that is going to be convenient for them. They're not going to put themselves in a situation where someone already knows what they're trying to do. Because then they're not going to be able to get their needs met. They're not going to be able to get supply. The narcissist counts on their source being blind to what they're trying to do. The narcissist knows that they're manipulative and exploitative. Some of them may not want to hurt people, but they see it as though if people have to get hurt, for them to get what they want, then that's just how it has to be. But the only reason why the narcissist would ever return to you is because it's convenient. If they know that they can get supply out of you, maybe a place to stay or some money. Because that's all they really want. All they care about is what you can do for them or how you can make them feel. All of that time you invested into them didn't mean anything. They didn't appreciate anything you did for them because they always wanted more. They were never grateful. They might use you to, tr to triangulate and manipulate the new supply. But that's all a part of the game. They never really valued you. They never really appreciated you. The closest a narcissist gets to appreciating anything they have is when they try to make other people feel envious or jealous. Because they're dead inside. They can't appreciate anything directly. They can only experience it vicariously for other people. Which is why they're so focused on their image. How people see them is how they see themselves. And if you see them in the way that they want to be seen, they will return to you. But if you've already climbed out of the rabbit hole, they're just going to see you as a lost cause. It's too much effort for them to pull you back down there now. It's easier to find someone who doesn't know what they're like. Someone who will reflect back to them how they want to be seen. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsviva.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.